Happy Monday, LGG. I hope you guys are having a great day. I want to talk about something, you know, on the heels of this election and for those of us who are celebrating, hey, but on a more serious note, even though we've won a victory, um, there's some tough days ahead of us. And there's a story coming out of Louisiana that I want to talk about. So I'm getting this story from News 15 Fox. The family of Kawan Bobby Charles retains attorneys to advocate on behalf of their deceased child. Attorneys Ron Haley, Diedrich Moore, and Chase Tritchell, along with Stan Black, have been retained to advocate on behalf of the family of Kawan Bobby Charles. On October 30, 2020, Janet Irvin and her 17-year-old son <clears throat> took Bobby from his home without his parents' permission. Around 3 p.m. that day, Bobby's mother, Roxanne Nelson, beca began calling Bobby in an attempt to find out where he was. Due to the lack of transparency, collective indifference, and moral failings of law enforcement, Bobby's family has been forced to undertake the serious financial costs and enormous emotional stress of arranging for an independent autopsy in order to get any answers about Bobby's death. The cost of this independent autopsy was not just financial for Bobby's family, it has greatly worsened the grieving process by delaying when they can put their child to rest. Upon completion of the autopsy, we will inform the public of those findings. In the meantime, we demand the arrest of any party involved in the death of Bobby Charles. Furthermore, we need to know, at the least, the, pre the preliminary findings of the coroner as to the cause of death, and we want answers from the Baldwin Police Department as to why an Amber Alert was never issued in the days that the child was missing. We will be fighting here for injustice for Bobby every step of the way. And um, this is a story that should resonate with all African-American parents because here we have a kid, a teenager, that went missing, no Amber Alert issued, uh, no serious effort by the police department to find this kid. And they're actually um, saying that this is, is, is e equivalent to a modern day Emmett Till. There are photos floating around of this young man's body. I'm not attaching it here because it's painful to see. I did see it. It's horrific. It's sad. And I mourn for his family. But uh, let's get this word out as we have you know, with other cases, we want justice for this young man. It could be anybody's kid. So this has got to stop. Uh, share this video, if not mine, share another one, talk about it. Let's make this go viral. Let's put some pressure on the local police department so that they get some answers. We want the FBI, we want everybody involved. We want our black kids to stop dying at the hands of anybody, each other, it doesn't matter. We have to stop the nonsense. Let me know what you think about this. Um, leave your uh, comments, you know, below. Have a have a good afternoon. Bye.